Hi viewers, I'm Potpot and I'm here to teach you how the Gauss Jordan elimination uh, works. So we have a three equation here. The first thing we do is to to convert this three linear equation into a matrix form. So so depending on their coefficient, you will just put it here. So one. 3, 1, 10, 1, negative 2, negative 1, negative 6, 2, 1, 2, 10. So, the objective of gauss jordan elimination is to create this matrix into a identity matrix, just like we have here. So, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0 to identify what is x, y, and z. So, the first thing we do is to have the upper left corner, this one, into 1. So, in our case, we just have 1, so we are not doing that anymore. So, the next step is to create the, the first column in the bottom to make it zero okay so we're gonna create a formula for that so negative one i'm gonna times it to multiply it to row one plus row two that will give us to new row two uh, so we can also make this zero we create a formula so negative 2 times row 1 plus row 3 that will give us a new row 3 so only row 2 and row 3 will change so we will make a new matrix here so we'll just copy the row, row 1 1 3 1 then there so we will use this formula so we can get the new row 2 so negative 1 times row 1 is negative 1 times negative negative 1 times 1 is negative 1 times ro plus row 2 is 1 so we'll, that will give us 0 Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3 plus negative 2 is negative 5. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1 plus negative 1 is negative 2. Negative 1 times 10 plus negative 6 that will give us negative 16. So we're done with this. Next is the solution for the row 3. So negative 2 times 1 plus 2 is 0 negative 2 times 3 is negative 6 plus 1 that will give us negative 5 negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 plus 2 that, that will give us 0 then negative 2 times 10 is negative 20 plus 10 is negative 10 so the next step is to make this middle part into 1, just like this matrix. So, we are done with this. Next is this one. But, I will make something just to be sure it's easy to solve. So, I'm gonna switch row 2 with row 3. To make this zero to here, okay. So make this a new matrix. So we we'll, we will just copy the row one, and we will switch the row two and row three. So zero negative five, zero negative ten. 0, negative 5, negative 2, 
negative 16. So, we will make this middle part into 1, just like the matrix. So, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna make this first into 0. So, negative 1 <coughs> times row 2 plus row 3 that will give us the new row 3 ok make new matrix row, row 3 so 1 3 1 10 0 negative 5 0 negative 10 so give the new, new row 3 so Negative 1 times 0, just copy the 0, okay. Negative 1 times negative 5 is like positive 5 plus negative 5 is 0. And negative 1 times 0 is equal to 0 plus negative 2, so negative 2. Uh, then negative 1 times negative 10 is positive 10 plus negative 16 is negative 6 then we're gonna make this negative 5 into 1 just like the identity matrix so I'm gonna make art row 2 divide by negative 5 and to give us new row 2 so, and I'm gonna make this one also zero. So one zero zero. Uh, I'm gonna make row three divide to negative two. That will give us a new row three. I'm gonna make a new matrix, and we'll just. So one will not be moved, so I'm just copy it. Then zero divided by five is zero. So negative five divided by negative five is it is one. One. That was zero. Negative ten divided by negative five is two. Could give us two. Zero zero. Negative two divided negative two is. 1 negative 6 divided by negative 2 is 3 so we're going closer into our identity matrix and I'm gonna do is make this into 0 so negative 3 times row 2 plus row 1 that will give us a new row 1 Okay, I'm gonna make a new matrix here. Only row 1 will be moved, so we will just copy the row 2 and the row 3. 0, 0, 1, 3. So, negative 3 times the row 2, 0 is 0, plus row 1 is, will give us 1. Negative 3 times row 2, like negative 3 so plus 3 six, that will give us 0 negative 3 times 0 plus 1 give us 1 negative 3 times 2 is negative 6 plus 10 that will give us 4 and the last step that we need to we need to make this zero we're moving closer to our identity matrix so what we're gonna do is negative one times row three plus row one that will give us a new row one I'll create a new matrix So, only row 1 will be moved, 
we will copy row 2 and row 3. 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 0, 1, 3, and the new row 1. So, negative 1 times 0 is equal to 0 plus 1, 1. Negative 1 times 0, 0 plus 0 is 0. Negative 1 times 1 is equal to negative 1 plus 1 is that will give us 0. Then negative 1 times 3 is negative negative 3 plus 4 that will give us 1. So we have we achieved the identity matrix here the 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1. Therefore the this is the x y and the z that will give us the x is equal to 1 y is equal to 2 and the z is equal to 3 there you go thanks for watching